Well, hello then, I do hope you're all well. Now, I think this is a bit of a belter. Now, this happened in a digital culture and media and sports select committee meeting on the 6th of December, if I remember rightly, where the new Secretary of State for Digital Culture, Media and Sport, Michelle Dunalan, was asked some very uncomfortable questions about Unboxed by Conservative MP, yes, you heard me right, Conservative MP Julian Knight. Um, Michelle... If someone from number 10 came to you and came up with a really bright idea, they said to you, let's hold a festival, a nationwide festival that actually has no uh, running uh, idea through it, which basically effectively will see £120 million worth of taxpayer money effectively spent on it, and then achieves less than a quarter of the target in terms of audience engagement that they set. Would you say that's a really good idea, let's go ahead with it, or would you say... Frankly, get out of here. Uh, So thank you, Chair. Delighted to to be here. I think you're talking and referring to uh, the programme called Unboxed. As you know, that that initiative was developed and thought of as a concept years ago, and it was drawing its conclusion when I entered the the department, so it isn't something that I have actively myself worked on. Um, In terms of uh, the project itself, obviously now we're viewing it from... Uh, the, the luxury of hindsight, aren't we? We know the criticism that's been waged against it. We know the, the shortfalls, the lessons learnt. And we're in a very different period of time uh, with the economy, with uh, the cost of living crisis and the challenge that we face today. I think that the initial intention behind Unboxed was a laudable one, spreading culture to areas of the, the country that have been culturally deprived. We know that there's over 100 of those areas would from you, the would you do, paper. Secretary, would you do it again? So I never did it in the first place. Obviously, this was a, a government initiative, and we, I think there are appre- lessons. We, we we don't, I don't think anybody would do it exactly the same. No, because there are lessons that have to be learnt from Unboxed, yeah. and I think everybody would recognise that in many ways it could have uh, been improved and built upon. I think the stat that you used about it being uh, only reaching a quarter of its uh, intended audience. Uh, actually, it reached uh, over 18 million, which was the projected objective. However, the individual who was chairing the initiative was creating a kind of moonshot uh, target, which has not helped things either when we try and assess it versus its uh, original targets. But look, I, I, I agree with you, Chair. There are uh, concerns around. Uh, this project in relation to lessons that could be learned that I would uh, implore the government to look at and the government will be looking at that and I know that the PAC committee will be reviewing this in detail as well as as yourselves. Okay well there's several points I want to pick up Mm. from that particular answer. First of all let's just get something straight here. Uh, Martin Green said 66 million Mm. that's the target used in front of this select committee. It may be a stretch goal but it's still a goal in many respects. Mm. 18 million is roughly a quarter of that. Uh, that has failed massively against their own target. So I don't think that's particularly dis- defensible. Now, when you say this is from the benefit of hindsight, this committee, in its report, warned against Unbox and saying basically we thought it would be a failure. Mm-hmm. And the reasons why we thought it would be a failure is because basically it had no idea behind it and was nothing that actually people could grasp onto. It was literally just a splurging of money rather than something that was hooked to an event in time. Now, people still talk about things like the World War I commemoration. They still talk about the 2012 Olympics. They still talk about the jubilees that we have had for Her Late Majesty. But you have got to recognise, as Secretary of State coming in, and we take it that it is not your fault, that this was a monumental cock-up of gargantuan proportions, and this should never have been allowed to come to fruition. Now, have you been making inquiries within your own department as to which officials are responsible for having effectively banged the drum for Unbox throughout this. Because I happen to know that previous Secretary of State, at least one of them, was actually very minded to actually cancel this and was persuaded not to by officials. Uh, well, I can't speak to, to that because no previous Secretaries of State have, have said that to me, but I'm obviously happy to look into that in, in further detail. I think that the objectives that were given to the officials working on it were met. The problem is the concept um, in relation to you know, the issues that you've just outlined yourself there um, and, and the failings around that. Uh, the target that was, was said to you in the select committee was not the official target, but I completely agree that was the voice within the uh, organisation sharing that target, which is mostly unhelpful now at this stage. But as I've said, there are big lessons to, to learn here. 
um, when future projects are designed and uh, Is it acceptable and to spend £120 million to actually learn a lesson? And that well, I, think, I think it's more than that, though. I think you know, 18 million people did engage with this. Um, and there were many aspects of it which uh, did help spread cultural all around. But I'm not here today to... respect, Secretary, said, it's 3.8 million attended, 18 million engaged. Now, mm. that could include listening to a programme about how mm. absolutely appalling waste of money it was. That includes engagement. So if there was 3.8 million people effectively went through the turnstiles on these events, that is £40, virtually £40, per individual who went through, or £35 per person. That is a monumental waste of taxpayers' money. Surely you must recognise that. Well, as I've said, you know, there, there were issues associated with Unbox. There were benefits to it as well. And I do think the original concept was laudable in its intentions to try and spread culture around the UK. It's the way it was gone about that is, is, is the issue uh, and has led us to where we are today. There are many people that did engage with it that are huge fans of what happened and, and the learnings that, that they well, the have The community seems to love it with. because basically all got paid for doing something which no one actually went to go and see. I mean, it seems to be basically this was... I mean, the Platinum Jubilee, for instance, that didn't cost any money whatsoever. I mean, that was a fantastic event that brought the country together. And here is something that has been designed by officials, seemingly, has been sent out there. Martin Green took a hospital pass to a degree by actually accepting it, despite the, uh, the early iteration of it being the Festival of Brexit. And then what's happened is, effectively, no one said stop at this point. And £120 million... Pounds. Now, you said about the economic situation being different. Yes, it is different. But we were still in serious debt when this was decided. We were still at 75% debt to GDP. So how is it that as a department, and what are you going to do within your department to find out exactly where the failings lie and to ensure that we never go through this sort of nonsense again? We will be doing a, a review into the project. As I know, independent sources like yourselves are and like the PAC is as well. Um, and so together, all of those will, will hold uh, not just the department but to government to account. I mean, there are some positive stats around Unbox. I do think we shouldn't get around that and paint it all as negative. Uh, as I've said, there were lessons to be learned. It, would I have done things differently? Absolutely. Do I think things should have been done differently? Absolutely. Um, you're only, I mean, it's, I mean we, we absolutely tell if I say you are only just in situ, and also the fact that you come here and say that you wish to learn lessons, etc., etc., and we absolutely take that, and I, 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 I respect that entirely. However, it's a little, not quite akin to the comments that have come from your own department. You've gone into full sort of uh, hedgehog mode when it comes to this, sort of rolling up into a ball, and actually sort of, if anything, rowing strongly behind Unboxed, and also, in many respects... I think, personally, saying that we as critics of the whole sh uh, shebang have effectively, you know, that we, we don't understand exactly what we're talking about in many regards. Now, do you think as well that the, the department needs to learn lessons in terms of that communication and needs to hold its hand up earlier when it sees something going as horribly wrong as Unboxed has? I think any department uh, should hold their hands up if they see a project either not running to time, not running to, to budget, or not running to the objectives that it was originally set. So, yeah, that's what we should be doing as custodians of taxpayers' money. If there are any particular sources of communication coming out of the department which you think echo the tone that you've just characterised, then please do share them with me. Because well, They're in the press. Yeah, yes, but I mean, since my tenure, um, then we can... We can no, no, we can it has been actually in yeah. your tenure as well. We, we have seen... The, basically the responses that we have had in terms of one box of places has been about rowing behind it. And, and we understand that. When there is an issue, the, the instinct instantly is to basically defend it first and then maybe under it. But we are concerned as a committee that there will be no lessons learned from this and that five years down the line we'll have another bright spark idea from number 10 where in which we'll end up with another load of money being wasted. So I think what the department has been trying to do is say that not everything associated with Unbox has been negative. Um, and that is borne out by a number of, of the, the statistics. But there are massive lessons to learn, and I can assure you here today that the department will learn them and that we will be reviewing uh, this project uh, with a, a, a laser eye on, 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 um, on the detail and scrutinising it properly, as I, I know that you will be doing as well. Yeah, in fact, we appreciate that. Oh, no wonder how Madnad wanted nothing more to do with the digital culture, media and sport job. She knew what was coming down the line a long time ago and she was going to be asked some very awkward questions about this unbox, wasn't she? Obviously. But wow, he wasn't going to swallow a party line about 
oh, just look at the positives of Unbox because, let's be honest, there weren't any, were there? But what do you guys think? What it a belter? Anyway, let me know down below and I shall bid you farewell and take care, my friends.